Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on April 4th, 2025. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at our sun for the past 48 hours. A little calibration going on with the satellites, as well notable plasma filaments and sunspot regions. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, we do have some active plasma prominence and no new sunspot regions turning into view just yet. Outgoing activity here. Same thing, plasma prominence swirling around the surface. Then watch on the left-hand side, big plasma shot. Looking at multi-spectrum, pointing out the last 48 hours of events, and as well, plasma filaments, large sunspot regions, which are now Earth-facing, and as well, the magnetic field, bottom left-hand side of our sun during this recent coronal hole event, which the coronal hole has stretched from the northeast to the southwest on our sun. Having a look now at 171 angstroms, just another amazing way to see our sun safely for today, showing the last 48 hours of imagery brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory mixed with daily events worldwide. Thank you so much for pressing play. Here's a look at those sunspot regions in motion. Large sunspot region is now Earth facing. And currently we have nine sunspot regions 4048 and 4046 are very large. And we're going to be keeping an eye on those over the next 24 hours during this Earth facing event. Current space weather conditions we are under level one geomagnetic storm impacts from the coronal hole wind stream, which was equatorial and Earth facing. Solar winds coming in steady at 525 kilometers per second. Solar X ray flux, as you can see, nothing major to report since a strong C class two days ago. Our sun has been very quiet. Proton flux was elevated up into the S1 range the other day. Geomagnetic activity hopped up to a KP5 throughout the day today. From the coronal hole wind stream, which is visible here in the Space Weather Prediction Center diagrams, showing the impact, minor at that compared to what we've seen over the past couple months. That is a look at the forecast for the next four days on our star little green circle there on the right hand side of these diagrams is earth bottom showing velocity and plasma density on the top now let's have a look at lasco 2 as there was a sun diving comet watch for that to come in on the 2nd of april into the third Right there, that's where it starts to come into view. Sun diving comet, and then moments later, small CME taking off from the equatorial region. Having a look now at the aurora forecast for tonight and tomorrow, pretty prevalent tonight, mostly across western parts of the North America, and of course all of Canada, Yukon, and Alaska. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as we've seen some big ones. 6.9 earthquake Papua New Guinea today, followed by a 5.3 Kimb Papua New Guinea rocking a 6.9 earthquake. We saw some deep ones as well through Fiji. Notable. 551 kilometer depth as well as sizable. 5.7 high high foe Tonga. Indonesia, some large volcanic eruptions there at Mount Merapi. India Plate, 4.9. And as well, notable earthquakes, the Rek Janes Ridge up into Iceland. As Iceland erupted yet again two days ago, the same time that the Kilauea volcano erupted, we also saw a large earthquake. Rek Janes Ridge, 6.9 earthquake. 4.7 there, Brazil. 
6.3 Pacific Antarctic Ridge, which is also a pretty rare place for earthquakes. 5.6 east of Bellany Islands. And that's the last three days for earthquakes, as it was very active, but no tsunamis with those large earthquakes. Looking across North American plate, largest being a 3.9 notable at the geysers. That's a small, or sorry, that is a very large earthquake for that region. USGS is reporting just under 290 earthquakes past 24 hours. Chile rocking, boasting a 4.3. Hawaii, eruption has ceased. But just look at the last few days here around the world. This is showing the last seven days for shakers and movers. 6.9 seems to be the number here. Three large 6.9 earthquakes the past 36 hours. Tonga, Papua New Guinea, and the Rick Janes Ridge. And right now, currently, we have 75 active and erupting volcanoes around the planet. Stay tuned. We're going to have to get another update here, as we've seen some big ones erupt over this last little bit. Mount Merapi being one of the big ones. Kilauea, of course, and Iceland. Too close to the Blue Lagoon. That's the last seven days for earthquakes around the world. Heads up, Juan de Fuca Plate and up into Alaska. A little too quiet considering all the activity around the North American plate. Now let's have a look at the SO2 forecast. Sulfur dioxide emissions brought to you by the active and erupting volcanoes. Big plumes through the Central Pacific. And as well, Mexico, Guatemala, Alaska, Kamchatka, Japan. All around the Ring of Fire. Even Nishinashima, a submarine volcano. Well, island volcano now. Having a look now at Australia, Africa, Southeast Asia. Notable plumes coming out of Indonesia. There was a large eruption at Mount Merapi. And as well, continual eruptions. New Caledonia region. Notable plumes still rising and emitting from Central Africa. The Congo region. No new eruptions at Mount Etna or Italy. Now let's have a look at world weather brought to you by windy.com. Large low pressure system off the coast of Alaska. Set to bring in wind and a lot of rain. Extreme weather through the Gulf states over the next couple days. High pressure ridge moves in. Alberta clipper scoots in right after that. And then watch for a wintry weather event for most of Canada before the long high pressure ridges move in. Got three systems coming this week. Over the next couple of days, it's gonna be very dangerous though through the Gulf states. Overlooking South America, Africa. Notable daily evaporation rains across the Northern region. Watch for a cyclone to develop off the coast of Argentina. Head south. Other than that, no major cyclones or typhoons forecast here. Overlooking Australia, Southeast Asia. Again, no major cyclones, typhoons forecast. But watch for a strong low to penetrate New Zealand. And another one about two days after that. Got a wet week ahead for you. And then some pretty strong systems scooting out of the West Pacific. But most of them are riding still straight up into the North Atlantic. Or sorry, North Aleutian Islands towards Alaska. Something has shifted dramatically on our planet. And I've been sharing the upper level winds, which depicts our polar vortex. This is a look at it today, showing our upper level winds around the world. As we are shifting into spring. Look at the equatorial winds, look at the direction of them, as I'm going to give you a share of what our winds were doing last year at this time. To go back to 2024, March 4th, or April 4th, 2024, noting the direction, the equatorial winds, and look at them now. 
That's a big difference. Has the flip happened? Has the sun triggered? Solar cycle 25 triggered a magnetic excursion and quite possibly a pole flip on our planet. This is a look at the southern hemisphere showing the polar vortex as they're getting ready for winter down there. Let's go back a year and they're going the same direction. but definitely in a different spot. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the show. This is something they're not going to share, so please like and share today. Much love. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye now.